happy tea of the day. Today I've got a fun one here. A friend of ours gave us uh, a, some fresh fennel. So I've got fresh fennel along with some lemon balm, a little bit of apple mint, and rosemary. And I think even a touch of spearmint in there too. So I had a little bit of fun experimenting. So let's see what we got. Hmm, that's pleasant. Hmm. Yeah, it's very, uh, uh, it's nice because um, I, I, I think I balanced this one pretty darn well that everything is kind of coming out and it's got this nice complexity to it. So the, the fennel kind of sits back on the back end there where you initially when you taste it, you're getting more of the lemon balm and the apple mint and the spearmint. So those really kind of pop out at first, but then as it kind of settles in, you're feeling the fennel in there as well. So it's a it's a really nice balance. I'm, I'm liking this. This is and it's very very light too. So if you like that light tea action, this is going to be a, a one that you're going to like for sure. But I, I think I've talked about fennel a little bit, in as much as that it's very good for um, some skin conditions and such. Uh, I had talked about it in the way that it's a good anti-inflammatory, and I've also talked about how it's good uh, for along the lines of uh, eczema and other things, but it, I mean, it's an anti-inflammatory, it's anti-spasmodic, it's an antibacterial, antiseptic, and even has antifungal effects. So, give you an idea. It's got a wide range of things that it can fight, which is great. Um, but it also um, is supposedly be able to do a other variety of things, which is supposed to help your sleep. It's supposed to help increase libido and metabolism, which means that it's supposed to help a little bit possibly with weight loss because it's increasing your metabolism. It's supposed to help with acne, internal parasites, which is good, I suppose, if you have gone to a third world country and accidentally gotten a little bit of tapeworm. Um, it's also supposed to help with bad breath. Of course, I've used it for that, actually, the seeds, personally, where you just kind of chew up the seeds a little bit for to help up your breath. And, and it's obviously used, it's used in toothpaste all the time, so this is like one that most people know about, I think. It's also supposed to be good for your blood sugar and your blood pressure. It's supposed to help your eyes a little bit. Now, it's also a diuretic, so when you drink it, um, it's kind of, they say it's supposed to help with weight loss because it helps actually get fluids out of you because it actually is uh, working as a detoxifier. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're drinking it and getting water into your system. You're gonna need to drink some water too because it's diuretic, kind of like coffee, where you think, I'm getting liquid into my system. It's like, well, no, you still need your water, okay? Get your water. But finally, it's also supposed to be helped with lots of different digestive problems, so um, officers that are coming by, it's supposed to help with things like heartburn, acid reflux, and uh, all kinds of different digestive things like bloating and uh, gas, and yeah, it's just oh, all over the place. It's supposed to be good for respiratory distress, like asthma, bronchitis, coughs, virus infections, and it also works in as an expectorant. So if you got a cold and you got a lot of gunk up there, a little bit of fennel. All right. Have a good G-Day!